Hi, everyone. I know you're not used to hearing from us today, but I have something very special to share with you. Thanks to Audioboom, we are giving you an early sneak preview of their newest show, Dead Man Talking. Dead Man Talking investigates the death row confessions of the famous railroad killer to see if he was lying in order to slow down his journey to the execution chamber or if he was even more sinister than anyone could have imagined. Enjoy the sneak preview and subscribe now wherever you find your favorite podcasts. The train track itself from the parish home, I would say was maybe less than 50 feet. He had a biblical and religious significance, that he was an angel from God. He was on some sort of a mission. The young man found brutally bludgeoned to death along a railway track. Found dead by the train track. Postmortem lady had sex with at least Karen, if not both bodies. Holly Dunn and her then-boyfriend Chris Meyer were walking back to a party along railroad tracks in 1997. What was supposed to be a fun night would have a dark turn of events. I want people to know that he was an evil person. He was someone that wanted to do harm to people. Complete paranoia. Just fear at every corner. We're now sleeping with guns, and we're now carrying guns everywhere we go. They called him the Railroad Killer, and for more than a decade he crisscrossed the US by freight train, jumping off at random and bludgeoning his victims to death with whatever blunt object he could find. Angel Matarino Resendez, alias Rafael Resendez Ramirez, is now on death row in Huntsville, Texas, and is scheduled to die by lethal injection. I first met Angel Resendez in 2003. I'm just going to give it a test to see if it see if it works. Okay, we'll just uh, give me two seconds. Here was this small, diminutive guy who was okay. overweight and um, very softly spoken and didn't seem physically capable of these crimes at all. Sometimes I used to chop somebody and throw them in swamps. Which swamps? It was a little bit out of my depth in 2003. It was only beginning my career as a journalist interviewing inmates. What I wasn't prepared for at all, though, were his confessions. Resendiz began to tell me about additional murders he'd committed. So she's in prison for murder? For murdering her husband when I did it. I was shocked there'd been no real investigation into this confession and that a woman was still serving life in prison for the murder. There is always that underlying thought that he could be lying, but then you have to investigate to the fullest. It would be easy for a body to go undiscovered for 20, 30 years. I mean, it happens all the time. It's concerning to me that we have families out there that, that don't have any closure because we haven't found these bodies. So there's some pretty unique things on that tape. I only spent an hour with Resendiz, but in that hour, I heard some things that blew my mind. And in this podcast series, you're going to get to hear them too. Join me, Alex Hannaford, in the Dead Man Talking podcast from October the 2nd. Please rate, review and subscribe to Dead Man Talking on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts or wherever you find your favourite shows. Run for the fences, Riley. Wait.